Hello and welcome to Laishish. We are now in January and we have a lovely coating of snow on the farm. So let's go and have a look and see what we can do for today. We need to just check up on the animals, make sure they've all got food. Um, in terms of um, the fields, I don't think there's any work to be done there. So let's get on to the chickens and see what we've got. We should just have about, just about have a full pallet of eggs. Yeah, not quite full, but full enough. Let's have a look and see, make sure that they've got enough. So this got 12,000 12, liters of food. We put that 15,000 when we topped up yesterday. So there's probably enough on that. Um, let's have a quick look in the computer, see how they're doing. Yeah, 15,000, it's just about full. Um, we'll check up on the There's some male chickens that need to be sold. Cows. Right, so we're getting down low on the on the hay. So I think we're going to need to we're going to need to make some TMR. So there's no problem with that. We should. It means we're going to have to buy ourselves a feed mixer, which is not too much of a problem. Right. So let's just go into while we're here and female duck male. That's just the single duck male that we have. Chicken female, duckling female, chicken female, chicken chick female, duck female. All the females, okay. The roosters, okay. Chicken female, duck female, duck female. Duck female, duck female, duckling male. So that needs to be moved on. Let's select that. 16 of them. We'll move those on. Doesn't cost us anything. No, no harm, no foul, as they say, I think. Something along those lines. So we'll sell that. Okay. And duck, chick male. Chicken, chick, male, how many we've got of those. Let's simply select that. And there's probably quite a few of those. 23. And we shall sell those. So everything should be female in here except for the... Except for the drake and the rooster. Fantastic. So that's all done. That's all done. Chickens are happy. Well, it's probably come once we've finished sorting out the cows. Let's just go and have a look and see how, if we've got any cheese. I don't think so. Oh, we have. Got three lots of cheese to be sold, so that's nice. Some income coming from there. Uh, we've got no milk in there, we'll bring some more milk across. So let's actually bring the milk across first because. So we've got uh, 11,000 liters of milk, that's looking good. Let's get the milk into the. into the um, the dairy let that continue what I did wanted to do is see if there's any if there's been any sale of raw milk is there any way we can tell so I think if we go to there let's just have a look production costs this is before we've done anything really. Water costs. Yeah, so there's nothing that's come from harvest income. 
or any miscellaneous or anything like that. So, yeah, I would say that we're using all the milk production to produce cheese. If you're wondering what I'm talking about there, is there is an option to produce um, raw milk, but there's no way to... Um, to activate it as um, in the in the control panel so I was just wondering I thought it said 11,000 liters of milk in there it's only 5,700 what was 11,000 oh well it was the food read the wrong thing in any case we'll still get this in there Seems to produce cheese quite quickly. Quite happy with that. Oops, should have stopped. Sl slipped a little bit on the. Running a little bit on the snow yet. There we go. We'll just check that out there. Have a quick look and see how we doing here. So we just got that 5,000 in. So there's half a pallet still to be completed. So that's what I was talking about, the raw milk here. So if we activate that, it will most probably just start selling over. So that's why we didn't get any, because we didn't activate it. We were just making cheese. When we get a lot more, and we can, a lot more milk, we can activate the raw milk and that then will just automatically sell if I read the description correctly I was just wondering if it automatically sold without activating it because there was no place to sell it as such all that most probably doesn't make any success <laughs> any sense the reason why I say this probably not making any sense to me while I was saying it so <laughs> Oh uh, dear, in any case. Pop that off. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to head on down to the shop. We've got 36,000. Feeling we might have to go to the bank again to buy our feed mixer. And well, I need to just take off before I go any further, take off the the forks because uh, we're probably going to need to get a bucket as well so I think we're definitely going to need to go and speak to the bank manager get a little bit more, draw a little bit more on our loan so I think if we just put that down there because we're going to need to use that for the bales uh, there we go and then we'll go down and speak to the bank we'll go to the shop first and see how much we need to um, get from the bank manager to finance the, the purchase of the trailer and the and the shovel we'll see you once we get there right we're just about at the shop the yard is covered in snow, but I think we still will be able to get stuff done. So they are open, so let's go in quickly. See what it's going to cost us to to buy. What do we want to buy? We want to buy a T 
TMR mixer. I think we need to see that. Give us 11,000. That one doesn't say how much it will make. Oh, that's... Um, that's a um, shredder. That makes TMR. 90 horsepower. That one there is a spreader. That one there does 22,000 liters. Needs 100 horsepower, so we can cover that. That one there does 24,000, 50,000 for another. 120 horsepower, we can cover the power on both of those. 24. I think 24 would be easier. Yeah, so 50,000 for that one. What's the size? Uh, so, yeah. 50,000, so we would need Yep, I think Does it look too big? No, I don't think so Let's just have a look at the other one quickly So this one I know we've used before in I think this is the one we were using on Alma, Missouri, so it did work quite well. 100 horsepower, 22. Does it feed from both sides? Well, we only really need it to feed from one side, but. So it's 5,000 more for 3,000 more. Yeah, we're going to buy this one. So 45,000 is what we need there. Plus we need to um, buy a front end loader shovel. And 1,000 liters at a time. Anything bigger? Silage cutter. I don't think that's ancient 50, the flare eagle 2300. That's 1500 as opposed to. I think we'll just buy that one. It's a thousand liters, so we know exactly how much we're putting in in silage. That's a nice round figure. So we can buy that just normal. So let's just buy that. So we need to go to the bank and get another. We'll get we'll we'll finance the whole thing. So another forty-five thousand from the bank. So let's pop in to her. Let's just pop into the bank. Just actually, we don't need to. We don't need to drive there. We can just walk there. It's only around the corner. Take a little trot along to the bank. Ask them to finance our new TMR mixer. There it is. Yeah, I'm looking for another handout. No problem, sir. No problem. Let's have a look and see what we can do for you. So let me just call up my computer screen and we'll have a look. So you wanting to take another loan? Still got your, your credit line is still still got plenty in the credit line. So uh, let's say what? How much did you want? Forty five thousand. That's perfect. 
and you're going to pay that over the normal loan period 10 years it's going to give you an extra 453 euros a month to pay that off so we'll take the loan and yeah we will most probably pay, pay them off early but we'll see how we go so that's not looking too bad thank you very much for that sir and we will speak to you soon right so that gives us enough to buy the tmr mixer and we'll just have a quick jog on back down to the to the store and go and buy it Well, I'm back. So we're going to buy that. Uh, where are we now? The um, TMR mixer that we were looking at. We're going to buy the Silo King. 45,000 details. Yeah, that looks good. We're going to buy that. Thank you very much. Luckily, you've got it in stock, so we will just pop out and go and pick it up much appreciated and we'll speak to you again we'll just nip on in I think we'll pick up the shovel first here it is there and then we'll hitch up the TMR mixer very nice The mixing ratio is all up there. I like that. It's one of the things I do like about these. As you can see the mixing ratio. And we'll head on, trudge our way through the snow, back to the farm, and we'll see you once we get there. Right, so here we are back at the farm. And I think first of all we'll load up I think about 8,000 litres of, um, of TMR and then that should be a good starting point for for our mix So we'll do that on a bit of a time lapse because it's going to be the bucket only takes a thousand a thousand liters so it's going to or oh, we could snow now my goodness I didn't think of that did I Oh, where am I going to get rid of snow now? Oh, maybe we can put it in the back of the trailer. These things are sent to test, aren't they? Trailer's now got a thousand litres of snow in which we'll have to work out what we're going to do with. <laughs> so what we'll have to do is just go in a little bit further and start taking TMR from there. Sent to test, sent to test. As I was saying we'll do most of this on a time lapse just because it's going to be Eight bucket loads full. And hopefully, by we'll be able to get through the winter. 
I think I've parked this too close actually. Doesn't give us enough time to turn around. We'll oh we'll just get through with it. We'll muddle through. Right, we'll see you once it's done. Right, you're back with me. That's, I do believe is the eighth load. We're certainly going to find out now. <laughs> Just unhook the bucket here. And then uh, we'll go and put the hay and straw in. Yep, 8,000. That sounds... that looks good. So, just drop this off around about here somewhere. And I think we'll get out... I'm not sure how many... I'm not sure the... I don't know whether we'll need to put in one or two bales of Hey, so we've got 8,000, we want to get about 8,000 or 9,000 litres worth of hay in, so let's have a look and see. Um, we've got hay bales which are 7,200 Liters, so one of those. Yeah, we should have got, we should have made bigger bales of uh, of hay. I think we only made two twenty. Should have made two forties. It'll it'll work out better, I think. In any case, so we'll get one of those, and one. A square bale of hay. Yep. And one bale of straw. One bale of straw. And hopefully it'll work out. I don't know. These are things that we have to work at as we go along. We might have to top up. with um, silage to keep the ratios right. Let's, let's see how we go. Oh, that's straw. We don't want to put the straw in first. We want to put the hay in first. Seven thousand two hundred and fifty, so that'll take us up to fifteen thousand and some change. It should give us TMR virtually. Let's see. 
let's see. But then we want to top it up and bulk it out a little bit with the... Well, the thing is we don't have to put the whole straw bale in. So, let's see. And we'll have to just keep the eye open. And see if if we can take the whole straw bale that's good because it'll bulk up quite nicely we might not get a full load but we will get um, a fair amount and we've got 15,000 liters in there already we get this one which is what, how much was this was this 9,000 liters I can't remember why am I struggling to get in line now See what happens. Let's see what happens. Nine thousand liters. So it won't take a full bale in any event to fill it up. Twenty-two, fifteen, seven. Yeah, it won't take a full bale. Let's see if this works out. Oh, come on. Right, so we just got to... See, that's given us. I oh, know. Maybe, maybe we should be all right. Got the full amount of straw we've got in there. We've got two thousand. We might, we might be full. Maybe full. It looks like TMR in there. Let's have a look and see. Let's just drop that off there for now. I think we should be right. I think we should be okay. Why doesn't this want to turn properly? With the snow, it's probably. Probably the snow effect. Should give us what twenty two thousand liters. Right, let's see. Oh, it's forage. It's not Oh my goodness. Oh dear dear dear. Can I load this into here? We were just not right, just not right. You can offload a little bit of this into here. I just won't take it either. Oh, 
I'm going to upload a bit of forage into into the cars. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't have to offload too much. And then I'm going to just add a bit more silage in there. And hopefully that would give us a better proportion. This is always the joy of mixing TMR it's getting the with different um, different bale sizes etc just getting the right mix we do want to be able to bulk out with straw so Don't tell me how no, we have thank goodness for a minute I thought we had uh, I thought we had snow in there again. Now we've got TMR, I think. Now we've got TMR. Everything is in the green. We're not going to put any... ...of the additive in. We'll leave that for now. It's just an added expense for not a hell of a lot of gain. And actually, you know, I've never put forage into a cow, cow enclosure. Why is this still showing? It should definitely be TMR now. get out and have a look and see what let's have a look in here now quickly and see what what's going on with the cow feed so it's going in as hay It really should be TMR because it's all green, isn't it? Let's see what it shows up. If it shows up as forage, I'm just putting it in. Total mix ration. There we go. Fantastic. I don't know why the, I thought the icon was a bit da darker than that. Right, so let's have a look and see where we stand now. Actually, we didn't have to get out there. So we've got 21,000. We've got some hay, so we've got 38,000 there. So that'll keep them going until next month. I 
I think we'll leave that over here. The slight shelter. And we'll go and put this up. We're going to go and deliver some cheese. How many eggs have we got? Have we got a full, a full pellet of eggs yet? Not far off. Not far off. But we'll keep that for next month. Uh, yeah, it's just about one o'clock. Oh, we got four. We got four pellets now. That's good. Right, so we'll just load up. Use our super strength to load up for the, this time. We are just hacking around. I should bring you a pretty penny. To be our first real decent income. I think if the eggs go to the same place, we might as well go and load those up as well. Let's just see where the best place is to sell. Sell cheese. Where we go? Cheese. Where's the cheese? Cheese. There we go. Restaurant and eggs. 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 Where are the eggs now? There they are. Restaurants, yeah, so the restaurant also has a good amount of money for eggs. So let's just take a slow drive across it because we haven't. Well, let's put the straps on just in case. We don't want our cheese all over the snow. Cheesy snow. Why have we got these on? And where are we? It looks more tidy. The restaurant seems to be taking a lot of our product. And eggies, where are they? You know, you know what? I'm not going to take the eggs this time. Because I want to see what the cheese makes. So we'll just get that all sorted out and then we'll take the cheese down. Just so that we can. So it's only the restaurant that takes cheese. So. It makes that little operation nice and easy. In event, we'll see you once we get down to the down to town.
Right, just missed the restaurant. <laughs> Thought I was going to the to the um, store. <laughs> so, oh dear. Take with the straps and we'll then sell cheese at the restaurant. There we go. It's going to be quite good. There we go, 23,000. Plus a environmental score. So, uh, our precision farming is paying off. We've made that delivery, we'll get back to the farm. Actually, there's not much more that we can do today now. So I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. As we drive back to the farm. And we will go and creep into the house and sit in front of the fire for the rest of the afternoon. And we'll see you in February. Do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.